Alright, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a different video. Today we're going to be doing a QA and a video. I uh, posted on my Twitter um, just asking for questions for you guys um, because I didn't really have any idea of what to do um, in terms of YouTube videos. So if you guys have any ideas, make sure to put them in the comments below. We're going to go ahead and start out with the questions. So for the first question we got from Gupta, he actually posted two, so I'm going to do both of them at the same time. Um, the first one he asked was, how long ago did you start in the RL Pro scene? Um, I mean, if you are asking in terms of like how long have I been an actual professional, um, it's only been like a year and a half ish. But if you're talking about how long have I been trying to go pro, it's been definitely a lot longer than that. Probably like four years or so, five years. I started, uh, with, um, Sway Esports back in the day with Alpha Cap and Zombie Poop Shark, one of my current teammates now actually. And, um, that's whenever I started really trying to go pro in this game. And the next question he has is, what is the most prolific organization in RLCS that has offered you tryouts during your career? Um, I mean, like I said, I haven't been pro for too long. Um, so the first the first offer I really got after I got kicked from Mixet um, was Sonics and V1. Um, I was trying out with them in the middle of the fall and winter split uh, break. But other than that, I mean, I haven't really tried out with anyone else um, after that point. Next question we have from Beast of Bonium. He said, what are your thoughts on going from never qualifying for RLRS to quitting to getting subbed in and your dream finally coming true? Always wondered how you felt because if I remember right, you gave up on your dream and when you cared the least it came to true. Similar story for me too. Um, this is a great question. I will say that um, before I actually became pro, I did give up. As you guys know, the whole T-Girl cycle thing, I was young and immature and whatever. Um, a lot of things have changed since then, but... I will say that me getting subbed in and my dream coming true was it. It's a feeling I'll never forget. And I will always thank um, Alpha Cap and J Pal for letting me get the opportunity because at the time I was working full time at UPS. Um, I kind of gave up on my, uh, my journey to go pro because I felt like I uh, was kind of at a standstill and I didn't really feel like it was going anywhere. And I didn't really have the time to just kind of just sit at my house and just play Rocket League all the time without making any money or anything like that. I had school and all this. So um, at the time, I asked Kep, I was like, listen, like, I don't really have time to play. Like, is it cool if I sub for you guys? Because me and him were past teammates, and I figured that that would be, like, cool just to sub for X set because they're a good org, and they were a good team at the time. Um, so I got the sub spot from then. I wasn't really expecting anything out of it. I was just subbing because I didn't have time to play. Come to find out uh, a few months later... Um, while I'm working at UPS, Kep asked me, he's like, listen, like things haven't been going well. And I was wondering if you wanted to start for us. And I was like, I mean, yeah, that's obviously a, a question I did not have to think about at all. Instantly it was a yes. I, uh, I started with them and yeah, um, the end of that question. Yeah. I mean, I did give up, I gave up on my dream and I mean, the least I cared whenever I felt like it was over, it kind of just like came. And I mean, I feel very grateful for that. And um, yeah, so that's what I got for that one, uh, Beast. Next question is from 16. He said, how'd you get out of the TKRL cycle? I feel like it's really hard to not get burnt out while trying to improve so quickly. Um, I think it's a lot uh, to do with maturity, um, just in general, like the older you get, the more you realize like what things actually matter and what things you really need to fight for and what things like, I don't know. It's just a lot a lot to do with uh, maturity. I think getting burnt out is a thing that happens to everyone, but um, it kind of just depends on how much you want to actually, you know, keep going for it. Um, but the whole TKRL cycle thing about quitting and getting super upset about not winning and all this stuff, like, yeah, it's okay to get upset about not winning, but for, for you, if you really want to make it, you got to just, you know, go balls to the wall and not really care about... Um, obviously care about losing because it, it shouldn't feel good to lose but um yeah don't take it too hardly just keep keep uh pushing next question i got is from tyler jp he says if you were told that you can't be a professional rl player anymore but you were offered to become pro in any other game what game would it be um this is kind of a weird question i don't really know what i would answer probably like valorant just because it's an fps game and it's probably one of the most popular esports at the or uh, right now at least um and I played it a decent amount, so that's probably what I would say for that question. Next question we have from is Robert, and he says, when you hit that mental block in RL and don't have the urge to compete anymore, what did you do to break that? Um, that's the thing, I, I didn't really know what to do to break it at the time. Um, 
I kind of did give up in this aspect. Um, but I, I was fortunate enough to get another chance and uh, I just made the most of it. So that's so I could say about that one. Next question we have is from Cryptic RL. He says, at what point in Rocket League did you believe you could go pro and decide to try? Um, I will say that I never started the game to uh, become professional in it. I, uh, I kind of just started it for fun. Um, I got it for on Xbox at first and then eventually like as the more and more I played, the better and better I got and the more I became committed to the game. So I ended up uh, building my own PC and s switching that. Uh, I'd say probably around then I was like, I got rank A in six mans. And this is whenever like all the like rolled is like all these people were in rank A and like that's probably whenever I started um, back whenever I teamed with Kep and Zombie. That was definitely the first like real like I was trying to go pro at the time. Um, but yeah, the next question I have is from Ant Credible. He says, what is your all time favorite Rocket League team roster? Um, this one is very easy answer for me. This is a uh, cloud nine um, with squishy gimmick and torment. Um, I mean, there's nothing really you can say about that team that team was just like i don't know at, at the time that was like the biggest biggest team i've ever looked up to um i thought squishy was insane i loved gimmick and how how unorthodox he was and torment was just super good at defense so i mean they they were just fun to watch like i they gave me a lot of inspiration at the game and that's that's an easy answer for me it's got to be cloud nine for uh for that question next one we got is from bay Pero youtube he says who introduced you to rocket league and why did you start grinding um actually my neighbor um whenever i live with my parents he introduced me to rocket league um we both got it for a free-to-play weekend on xbox just you know getting it for fun because we we normally just played like 2k together and that was it um but that's how i started playing rocket league i didn't really like start grinding it grinding it um until i felt like you know i was getting better and all that stuff but it was just a fun game in general to start like it's definitely the the most satisfying um to like get better at especially at the beginning um, because at first you couldn't even fly and like you hit your first aerial and it's just it was a feeling that y you can never forget so that's all i'll say for that one um next question we have is from crasty he says in your opinion what is the best rlcs tournament format um this one is pretty easy for me as well i uh i really like the swiss the swiss format into into a bracket i think is definitely the the best because it gives you the most chances and um it's not as dependent on like if you're playing good on the day per se because you get three lives like if you if you lose three times then like you deserve to be out and that's just that's just how it is that's how i feel about that next question i have is from redix he says what were your life plans before rocket league um i mean before i started rocket league i was only like 15 so i didn't really have many plans uh i always knew that i wanted to do something with computers um i was going to do like computer science and try to get a job in that field but um i mean I was really young when I started playing, so I didn't really have too many plans uh, before Rocket League. But next question we got is from Blake Wall. He says, how can we as a society expect to move forward and progress when there are certain people in the world who still have on camera shake? Um, what's your best mechanical tip slash habit that you don't think anyone else does the same slash uses slash knows about? Um, I think the first one is more of just a troll question, um, but I'll answer the second one. The second one says, what is your me best mechanical tip habit that you don't think anyone does the same. I mean, I don't think I do anything that's like out of the ordinary that no pro does, but I think that one thing that um, that I will say that I personally like a lot is um, recoveries. I think that they're super huge and um, I really like um, being able to like flip onto the wall and then like flip into the ball and then like just recoveries in general are my, my favorite thing about the game. Um, I think I focus on them a lot, and that's probably one thing that probably stands out um, with my uh, mechanics. Um, so, yeah, that's what I answered for that one. For the next question we have from Sheik, he says, most important skill to make it to the top. This one has got to be a mentality. A mentality, mentality, mentality. Um, mentality slash confidence is kind of in the same, same thing here. Um, I wouldn't really say this is an in-game skill. This is more of like an out-of-game skill. But um, this one's definitely the the most important thing I think to make it to the top. You gotta believe in yourself. You got to be confident in who you are as a player and what you can do on the field. Going into games, you have to know that you're better, and you have to just think it, um, or else it's not gonna happen. Um, next question we have is from Woody. He says, "When are you and Woody doing a video together?" Hey man, hit me up. 
I, I am down whenever, man. I am down whenever. Um, yeah. Last question we got is from Caden is alive. He says, what motivates you to keep going? Um, I mean, as I said before, whenever I started competing, I've always looked up to uh, all the good pro teams and everything like that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to stop being motivated until I at least win. And then even, even after then, like, I'll probably even get more motivated then. So um, I think that uh, what motivates me to keep going is just the fact that I have not come close to being like the best or come close to even being like the best team in general. So um, until that happens, I, I can't really say what would happen after that. But I think that even after that, I'd become even more motivated to keep winning. But um, yeah, that's what keeps me going is just the sheer fact that I want to win. That's That's it. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for the Q&A video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, other than that, make sure to put in the comments uh, any ideas for videos that you guys want to see, um, whether it be Rocket League um, related or like this video, like a Q&A type video. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.